Welcome to the TNT Show. I'm The Rev. Today I'm here with Desiree Lee. She does fine art for the mischievously minded. It says that right on her website. That's one of my favorite tags. Tell us a bit about who you are and what you do. I'm an artist. I do fine art and I also do illustration and I do printmaking. And I also am a board member on the Downtown Artist Collective. So you say collective and I think of the Borg. Yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> Your art will be assimilated. <laughs> it's kind of a workspace artist community. We welcome all artists to come enjoy our space, enjoy our critiques. We have workshops geared to all people, geared to the community, geared specifically to beginning artists. Friday, October 21st is our grand opening. So I stalked you a little bit yesterday on the internet. Totally not back. creepy. And it said that Desiree is best known for her tiny intaglio-like drawings. Now, is that intaglio, intaglio? No matter how I pronounce it, it, it honestly just sounds kind of dirty. Uh, whoa. <laughs> just, what is an intaglio? Intaglio. Uh, it's... <laughs> Can we just have like five minutes where you pronounce that word? <laughs> Taglio. Intaglio. Intaglio. Just like, like tall people. It's a type of printmaking, and intaglio just means that you are scratching into the surface and the image is what you scratch in, I guess. That's a really horrible way of describing it. But what I do specifically is scratch into a plexiglass plate, ink the plate, wipe the ink away so the ink is left in the scratched out parts in like the grooves in the grooves her art is groovy it's groove oh that um. was so bad <laughs> <laughs> continuing with my internet stocking list here um <laughs> it says that you've been shown in lots of galleries and okay. that you are an award-winning artist <laughs> which is very cool so this is this is your chance to toot your own horn like hey this is why i'm a big deal in the art community they just kind of like it's like being in kindergarten and your teacher gives you a star for drawing like a robot it all looks good on a resume so who cares? that's true <laughs> but no some of my awards i'm really proud of like i got a city weekly arty award which i'm very proud of because i love being part of the community and the next thing i found that said desiree's work ranges in theme but is always as she says an attempt to connect the hidden places in myself to the hidden places in the viewer. I just want you to know that that is so beyond me. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds really deep. That's kind of the point I feel like when you're writing an artist statement is like, how convoluted and weird can I make this sound? But that's the whole thing. People are like, what is that? And you have to like, I gotta think of something really profound because you're looking for something really profound when really I was just doodling. People love to talk about what they see in it. And often when you're asking me what they, like why I drew it or what I see, they want to tell me what they see. So oftentimes I'll just be like, well, tell me what you see. And a lot of times they're like, that's what they want to do. What on earth happened to you as a child that got you into to art? What on earth happened to me as a child that got me into art? I don't even know how to answer that. What is so wrong with your life that you had to be an artist? Should we get into feminism for a minute? I actually, if you want to get into yeah, feminism, go for it. Yeah, let's do it a little bit. Let's do it. Okay, feminism, here we go. I'm ready to burn broad. I don't know. I feel like that's an expensive habit, actually. <laughs> Probably would be. I didn't think that I would be thinking about this today. Okay, um, how you got into art? I went to school to teach art because I grew up in a, in a culture that's fairly repressive to women. I thought, you know, I had to have a job where my role was to be able to make babies. And, well, and also I think I was a little bit afraid that I wasn't a good enough artist to like be an artist. So I went into art education, which is a very honorable profession. I don't like children, so it might, was maybe a bad choice for me. Why are you a teacher? Because I hate kids. Because <laughs> I hate the kids. It wasn't until I had gotten into a few galleries and been doing it part-time for a while that I started to realize I could do it as a career. I still feel like I'm making things up. Like I still feel like a hack. Like when people call me, call me an artist, it's like, well, like that's what it says on my tax return, but I don't know what I'm doing. What is your favorite color? It doesn't count if you don't do it in the accent. What is your quest? I want to feel like I matter and I find that through art. I feel like that's what I have to give to people. What are your areas that you consider like, this is my geeky stuff? My fandoms are Star Wars and Star Trek. I do lots of Star Wars stuff because I feel like visually more fun to create. Like Wookiees have this beautiful like hair thing going on and, and those pieces always sell really quickly. So yes. <laughs> you'd think I would get smart and do more of them. <laughs> How do we find you? It's really easy, you just Google my name. DesireeLee.com is my website. I'm on Facebook as Desiree Lee Illustration. You may not know this about me, but uh, I used to be a bit of an artist myself. Oh, I'm so not tired of hearing that from people. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> you get that right, really? yeah. I used to be an artist until I took an arrow in the knee. I'm gonna challenge you to a duel. Challenge accepted, and I just really almost feel bad at how bad I'm gonna be I, I think, beat you at this. Um, oh, I see how it is, all right. <laughs> you name the subject. I'm gonna name the medium. 
We talked about Borg earlier. Let's let's go Borg. I name crayons, that and you have to draw behind your back. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, all right. Shoot. <laughs> let's do this. Crayons just have that crayon smell. Pick your color. If it's white, it's gonna be real sad. Oh, purple. Okay. That'll do. Uh, wisteria. Can we both do purple? This is not purple. This is wisteria. <laughs> all right, Borg. Behind the back. Shut the timer for. 42 seconds. He marks, get set, Borg. All right, oh, oh. I'm kind of lost at that point. Yep, I don't know where I am. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna put in some fine detail dun, dun, here. Dun, 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 dun. How many seconds do I have? I'm, I'm ready. You put us down for 42 minutes, friend. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Oh, I'm just take me to dinner first or something. <laughs> One, two, three. We did it! What? <laughs> what? What the sh Look at this! Exactly Look at this! <laughs> That's, That's uncanny! Amazing. Sign that thing. Oh yeah, of course. That's Can I autograph it in a different color? Artists. There we go. That's beautiful. Desiree, thanks for having us again today. Thanks for coming. So, and thank you all for joining us. Remember to subscribe, check out some of our other videos here, 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 wherever we post them. Until next time, remember. It's hot in these rhinos. And we'll see you on the TNT show. We rocked that! <laughs> Take this as a warning, children. Don't grow up and be like us. <laughs> Don't huff your crayons. You can be so much more life than what we are today. <laughs>